All right, John, always coming through with some good information. Of course, Fox 26, your Gulf Coast Weather Authority, Ramisha is here now giving us right. a look at the current conditions. Pretty quiet out yeah. there. We had a few heavy downpours, some spots picking up, one to two inches of rain today, just not widespread. Right. We need a break, though, don't we? I would agree. You, Do you I like want, the heat? I want, no, I want sweater weather <laughs> at this point. Sweater <laughs> weather. That's what I want. about a 10 to 15 degree temperature drop? I'll in take about that. A week. Come on. It Tell may me not more. Quite the sweater weather for you. But <laughs> Tell me more. It is something. So <laughs> at least we're heading in the right direction. It does look like we have some relief maybe about a week from now, but for the rest of this week, we are going to stay stuck in that summer like pattern. Basically, a lot of heat and humidity out there and a slim shot for some isolated showers and storms during the afternoon and evening. We've gotten rid of those storms for tonight, and I think for the most part, we should stay fairly quiet and mainly dry for the rest of the night. However, where we did have one or two of those heavy downpours earlier, we got some much needed beneficial rain. In fact, northern Chambers County over an inch of rain showing up there just south of the Houston area, about a half inch to an inch over towards Katy, a little bit of rain and back to the west over around Edna and El Campo. Some spots picked up one and a half to two inches of rain, so it was not widespread, but where we got that rain, it certainly helped out. Of course, this morning we got an update on our drought monitor and as expected, there were some very slight improvements since we've had more rain around for the last week, but just not a ton of improvements though. We still have the entire area in the extreme to exceptional drought, but over east of Houston, Liberty, northeast of Houston, up towards Livingston, you've had some slight improvements. Instead of being in the exceptional drought, you're now in the extreme drought, but regardless, those are still very severe categories to be in. And it means we need several inches of additional rain. And I just don't see that happening over the next few days. We have isolated showers and storms in the forecast through the weekend. So no major impacts to your weekend outdoor plans. If you're hitting the golf course, going to the beach, going to the park, should be pretty quiet with plenty of dry time expected. Just isolated rain. Summer like weather pattern hangs around through the middle of next week. But finally, we are seeing signs that this pattern will start to shift about a week from now. A noticeable drop in temperatures and more widespread rain. So we're hopeful that that cold front will actually make it in because we could use the change, the difference, a more fall like feel out there. It is still muggy out there for tonight. We've got scattered clouds. We've gotten rid of the rainfall and I don't expect too much rain to pop up for tomorrow. Let me take you through your future cast. Notice around 4 30 p.m. for your Friday. Isolated showers and storms once again could creep pretty close to Houston, maybe over towards Katy and Sugarland. So keep that in mind. Some brief heavy rain that may send you indoors temporarily, but not a ton of rainfall expected. We'll repeat that for Friday. More rain on the way, but that pattern change will not take place until likely the end of next week. We'll already start to see that happening back in the western U.S. That big trough or dip in the jet stream will allow for that cooler air to start to filter in. Hopefully we will get some of that by next weekend. This weekend, though, this is what we're going to have to deal with. Middle 90s and only isolated rain. We also are still monitoring the tropics. We've got Tropical Storm Philippe out there in the Central Atlantic, not expected to head in our direction. Let's head over to Tropical Storm Arena. This one developed earlier today, and it also is not expected to head our way. It will shift to the north. So even though we have two tropical storms in the Atlantic, nothing that will bring us any big time rain. So mainly dry for the next few days, just isolated rain. But a week from now, we are hoping for that pattern change. It will start likely on Thursday and then the cooler temperatures likely arriving next weekend.